the cha cha B boy. <laughs> yeah, more, yeah. Let me eat that kimchi. Let me eat that kimchi. Yeah, more, yeah. Give me, give me that kimchi. Give me, give me that. Mm -hmm. I just landed in so city. I came here for the bomb bomb rock kimchi. <laughs> Buy them all, yeah, I'm burning it up. DPGC, you should be turning Turn it, it up. CPT, LBC. What is up boys and girls? I just wanted to give you all an update on my trip here in South Korea. It's so much fun, but at the same time, I'm so tired. I'm so drained. My body is kicking my butt. I ate so much cheeseburgers, so many fries, so much soda, so much water, so much soju, so much everything. I have been sleeping for the past three days. We met a lot of amazing people. Shout out to DPR, shout out to Christian Yu and Scott for welcoming us to Korea and taking us out. The last time I drank heavily was probably six months ago. And when I came here to Korea, it was consecutive days or one after another day. The definition of a chill night changed. I'm at home right now. Everybody else went out. They said they were gonna have a chill night <laughs> and I don't trust chill nights anymore. I need to relax and get my mind together. Alcohol just don't work on Korea. Some of you, you know what I'm talking about. Alcohol is water to Koreans. I'm not even stereotyping. Everybody that I met so far in this trip can drink alcohol and go to work the next day without having any problem getting up. Like, how does that work? The way my body works, I feel like shit the next two days. I don't know if you guys saw Joan Day's video. Shout out to Joan. She has a nice voice. I seem so shy and so tired in her video, but that's because we drank all night before that. I usually work out every day and it's been 20 days since I haven't worked out. Maybe that's why I'm tired. Tired. Usually I get more energy after a workout. I know it sounds weird, but I haven't been the same person. When I hung out with Whitney and Joan, they were like, you're so shy, you're so tired. I'm like, no, I promise I'm not usually lethargic. I usually have energy. I'm not putting up a front in a video. I know Dre for a while now and he knows what my normal state is like. Like I have a lot of energy, like too much energy for my own good. So he has to vouch for me like, no, he's not really like that. He's really tired. The funny thing about this trip is like a couple years ago when I started doing reaction videos in YouTube, I love Korean hip hop and I love everything K-pop so much. And I would slide those jokes and like, haha, I wanna party with K-pop stars one day. It's, it's different when you look up to somebody and they become your friend. You just respect that, you know what I mean? I went to this club called Arena, OMG. Like again, thanks to Scott and Christian Yu for taking us there. It changed my life. I can't go to a club the same way ever again. When I start pissing money, I wanna take you guys out. Damn! There's so many beautiful women. There's so many beautiful women in Gangnam. Like, oh my, everybody that you see is pretty. That's my new bias. That's my new bias. That's my new bias. But I'm not that type of guy, you know. I just need one girlfriend. I need one loyal girlfriend. And I'm still looking for her, waiting for her. Or you're probably watching this and you're playing hard to get. Real talk though, you're probably watching this and you're playing really hard to get. Or you're just being difficult. So many epic things happen. It's so epic. You don't even see me posting about it because it's that epic. But this this one I can talk about, you know. One night we were just hanging out. We're like, you know, there's no house parties here in Korea. And all of a sudden, one of the bros got invited to a house party. You already know, we wanted to check it out. We thought it was gonna be lame. And next thing you know, like, you go inside a party, like, this is so lit, but it was the weirdest house party ever. Even though everybody was getting turned up, you still had to take your shoes off. 
So it was so weird going inside the house with like 50, 100,000 different people when everybody had their shoes off and alcohol in their hand. They were getting lit. There was a DJ on the right side when you enter the house. And there was also a DJ underground. Everything else is self-explanatory, you know. I wasn't going to post this. This is not even any of my videos. And it went around the internet. Crazy. And I held on to my picture because, you know, I respect everybody's privacy. But so many of you are asking me, what is it like? How did this happen? 30 minutes later, we all started to get lit. Like, I don't care who I talk to, to be honest. Like, I'm not disrespectful or anything like that. Like, I might be a really big fan of you, but if I see you at a party, boy, I expect you to party. Because they don't call me Kenny Boy Slay for no reason. I expect you to slay with me. You know how the chicken squad do. You know how we do. We get extra. So we at the party, and they weren't playing Korean songs. They were playing American songs. <laughs> They were playing some 50 Cent, Dr. Dre, East Coast and West Coast and oh that was my jam. And they started playing California Love. I'm like, you know what, F this, I'm gonna grab a stool so every time there's a lit song, I can stand on it <laughs> and show Korea how Americans do it. You know, we made a mosh pit and everybody was just watching us. And I saw Dean looking at us and I'm like, bro, what you doing? You gotta join me in the stool. So I grabbed an extra stool for him. He almost fell, Dre caught him. And this is how this video happened. I'm like, yeah, let's go, let's turn up. And it's crazy. Hey, oh, hey, oh, hey, oh, hey, oh. I wasn't planning on recording this, you know, I was just having a good time. I just stole this clip from Roseanne. I didn't act like a fanboy, but after a party, of course, I had to ask for a picture because Dean is the R&B Jesus. You know how cool he is. And he's so short, but he's like five inches taller than me. We're just turning up, everybody was vibing, everybody was hyping each other up. But you know, I am the best hype man. So after Dean got up on a stool with me, I grabbed him. I'm like, boy, it's your turn. I don't care if you can stand on the stool. We're just hyping the whole party up. Everybody was just watching us, all eyes on us. <laughs> All our friends were loving it and of course Dean was loving it. I almost felt like that cool senior that brought everybody to the party even though I just crashed that party. And I see a cool junior and I invited him over to party with us. I don't know who originally started the party but shout out to TK and Kevin from Issei Soul for inviting us to the first house Korea party. Literally that was like the first house party. Like everybody was tripping, nobody know what to expect. But yeah man if you guys want to party more you have my contacts. I just gotta share this story with my chicken squad. And before we end this, shout out to Vivian. She is the cute voice behind I Need a Cha Cha Beat. Kenny Boy's lit. I yeah. need a Cha Cha Beat Boy. <laughs> and I hope you guys enjoy this. Like, share. Thank you all for watching my video. This is only the beginning of our adventure. That's why I'm trying to recover more. Everybody's like, all you do is sleep. You know, hard workers gotta rest. We can't party all the time. And to be honest, I don't even think I'm a party guy. I'm just a fun guy. But it's hard for me to be fun when I'm tired. So at first, I gotta get my energy back before I become a fun party guy or maybe I'm just getting old uh -huh, you know what I mean like uh, if you have any connection to Jisoo mm, that's, uh, mm, yeah you you know you already know I can keep things a secret so mm. <laughs> can I get the corner of it <laughs> let me have the corner Yo. Hey! <laughs> oh, come it matches you! <laughs>